Are you ready to find your dream house and wake up to a subdivision like this? But are you unsure if you should rent or buy, especially in the current market? Let's explore the pros and cons of renting versus buying so you can make a good informed decision. Let's talk. Here on Real Estate Talk, my goal is to make everyone a homeowner at some point in their life. But there is definitely pros and cons to renting and buying, especially at a certain time in your life. So the question is, what should you do, buy or rent? Well, let's head inside and let's talk about it. Uh, all right, let's talk about this thing, renting versus buying. Renting, it does offer flexibility, not that kind of flexibility, but you know what I mean. So you're not tied down to a permanent situation, a permanent long-term commitment. Uh, you can be a little bit more flexible if you gotta move or things like that. Plus there's none of those um, expensive costs as far as maintenance, right? You don't gotta cut the grass, really. Uh, you don't really gotta maintain uh, too much of the property. Um, if the HVAC system goes out, you can just call and it's getting fixed or replaced, right? So there's definitely some good pros about renting and there are specific situations in which you should actually rent instead of buy. Just take a look at some of the average maintenance costs for a home in America. You can see there is cost involved with maintaining a home, but buying definitely has its advantages. A few more than it does cons. So buying a house is definitely an investment, something that is gonna help you over time. It's gonna increase in value, you're gonna gain equity, you're paying down your mortgage every single month. So there's that. Plus, there's also the tax breaks you get for having property taxes. Think about this too. You could also make a profit when you sell your house. How much? Well, that's dependent on the area you live in. But on average, in America, the typical American home gets about 3% equity every single year. Imagine you buy a house at $250,000, right? Well, in 25 years, based on the typical average, your house could be easily worth more than $420,000. That's a huge gain for just owning a house. Finances do also play a crucial role in the decision that you have to make. Renting often requires less upfront money. It requires less money overall to maintain. However, the thing that homeownership provides you that renting could never is long-term wealth. Homeownership can also provide stability because as time goes on, rents tend to increase. But if you get a mortgage, it's gonna be a fixed rate, whether you get a 15, 20, or 30 year mortgage. Another thing you wanna consider is your lifestyle. Like I said earlier, there are certain situations where renting might actually fit your needs. Consider this, if you're a traveling nurse and you might only stay in one location for one, two, or three years, owning a home might not be a practical solution for you. You might need to just completely rent until you get to a point in your life where you no longer have to travel. But on the other hand, home ownership does provide a sense of stability, sense of permanence and pride. So consider that too when you're considering maybe buying or renting. Consider also if you plan on starting a family, isn't it a little bit better to have a sense of permanence, that, that home feeling versus just a house? Another factor that you wanna consider is the ability to make changes to that property. As a homeowner, you have the free will, as long as it's within code, and within your HOA guidelines, to do pretty much whatever you want to your house. If you really, really, really like a pink inside, go ahead. If you want polka dot walls, go for it, it's all yours. But as a renter, you don't have that flexibility. Most of the time, a landlord is gonna come in with a paint grade that they use for all their properties, paint it one color, it's easy for them to maintain, and you don't have a say-so. If you wanna change the layout of a bathroom in your house, go for it. But if you're renting, no can do. You'll have the freedom to personalize your house if you want the kitchen of your dreams or you want that really nice exquisite bathroom with a certain tile, a certain shower head, a certain look. In your house, you can do whatever you want. So I think you get the point. Home ownership versus renting. Home ownership is gonna give you much more options to do things to your own house. It's gonna give you a sense of permanence. It's gonna give you a sense of pride. It's gonna give you that home that it's yours. Whereas with renting, you don't get that. Sure, it's gonna be yours and you may stay there long-term and eventually it'll feel like a house, but it's not yours. You're not gaining that equity. Every time you pay your landlord, you are not gaining anything for yourself outside of a roof over your head. When it comes down to it, buying versus renting, it's all up to you. It's your choice, your priorities, your goals in life. But if you want something that can help you start to build generational wealth, if you want something or a tool, 
a vehicle that can help you get more tax breaks, look no further than owning a house. Both sides can have pros and cons. Like I said, there are certain situations where you need to rent, but you need to sit down and evaluate what is best for you and your family. If you need any help at all in buying a house, go ahead and click right here.